Hi, I'm Mariana Figuero. I'm a professor and director at the Lighting Research Center at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. In the last video in this series, we talked about the importance of designing lighting for health using the circadian stimulus, or CS metric, rather than relying on other metrics such as CCT. To assist you in doing this, we created a calculator that allows you to determine circadian stimulus and circadian light. To calculate, there's a three-step process. Choose the light source, determine the light level at the eye, and interpret the results. Now let's demonstrate how to do this. You can select any light source from the list below. You can also narrow this list down by using the filters at the top. To add your own source, click on the Add Custom Source button. You need to enter at least the source name and the SPD, or spectral power distribution. The SPD must have at least three rows or columns. The leftmost column, or the topmost row, should be the wavelengths. The power can be either relative or absolute. Ask the manufacturer for the SPD. Manufacturer, correlated color temperature or CCT in lamp types are optional entries, but allow you to use the sorting functions. Once you are done entering the custom source, you need to find and select it in the list. Note that if you close or refresh the browser, custom SPDs and previous settings are erased. In step two, enter the photopic illuminance at the eye in Lux for each source. This can be determined from your photometric software calculations or from measurements you do on site. If you are calculating CS for someone who is very old or very young, you can overwrite the default macular pigment optical density and input your own value. The default graph is the spectral power distribution. It plots the relative values of individual sources in yellow with respect to the total SPD, which is in green. Also, the circadian stimulus spectral efficiency response is shown either in blue for cool or red for warm light sources. For more information about that, please see our website. Additional metrics available include CIE chromaticity coordinates, color rendering index or CRI, gamut area index or GAI. Also shown is the boundary for the recommended values for class A color. For more information about that, please see our website. Scroll down for the numerical values. The topmost value is CS, the main purpose of using this calculator. Click on any numerical value for more information. At the bottom, you can access the relative and absolute SPDs of the combined light source. At the top navigation bar, click Help to toggle all help descriptions. Click on the two links on the left to learn more about light and health and designing with circadian stimulus. We invite manufacturers to send SPDs they would like included in the calculator.